Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a packing video featuring this gorgeous Carry Kit Lennox in the Ice Heather gray color. If you are in the Sensible Mama Chatterama, then maybe you saw my post a little while back. Um, I've had this bag for a few months because believe it or not, my good friend Amber sent it to me as a complete surprise. This showed up on my doorstep. I saw that I had a delivery out from the Sensible Mama and then this was inside it along two of the beautiful Carry Kit accessories that I will be also showing in this video. And you guys, this is amazing. This bag is absolutely stunning. If you're looking for a full leather bag that has a little bit more organization than like a Lily Jade, and in my opinion, has a little bit more customization options as far as what you can go for in the type of bag, I think you will be very, very happy with the carry kit options. For example, this bag has bottle pockets, which if you are somebody who carries around bottles with little kids, you know it's really nice to have a dedicated spot and pretty much all of the carry kit bags do, so that's amazing. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I have this packed up for my two kids. My oldest daughter is five and my youngest is almost two. So without further ado, let's get started. On the outside of the bag here on the front, you have these two pockets. And in these ones, I kind of keep some of the slimmer mommy stuff that I like to have. First is a pack of gum, as well as my Sensible Mama pen. The zippers on this gray color are gold, but they're not a very yellow gold. They're almost like a marriage between gold and silver. So I feel like if you're somebody who doesn't typically like gold, it probably won't bother you. And then over here, I have my chapstick. In the one bottle pocket, I have one of my little good to grow bottles, which are perfect for my kids. Usually I'll have one on either side, but for today, I just have the one in this pocket and then the other bottle pocket is empty. But over on this side is where the included accessories and like cute little add-ons that come with the bag. There's a little bag tag over here, which I haven't put anything in, but I'm planning to, as well as a cute little chain here. And then the tassel, which I think is beautiful, but if it's not your thing, you can take the whole thing off. It does have a nice lo lobster clasp right here. Also on this D-ring, I have my Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer. I find that that comes in handy. On the back of the bag, there's another nice zipper pocket, and this is where I keep my wallet. Along with the bag, Amber also sent me this gorgeous carry kit wallet. This is the George in black, and it's so soft, so beautiful. It actually took me a little while to get used to this just because I had gotten so used to carrying a small set piece from Jujubee as my wallet, and it was kind of nice that that fit in really small pockets. But now that I've kind of reoriented myself to using a wallet that's a little bit bigger like this, I don't think I can go back. I just love all the extra space in here. So in the back, I just keep coins. And then in here, I keep my cash. It does have a zipper pocket, which where I can put things that are a little bit more secure. I have room for all of my cards. And I just, I absolutely love this thing. I, this is a beautiful wallet, super soft and totally worth it. Then I'm gonna change the camera angle so that you guys can kind of look down into the bag. All right, so the closure of this bag, and one of the things that I think that makes it really unique is that when you look at the bag from the outside, you don't necessarily look at it and think it's a massive bag, but the top has kind of this slouchy shape, which allows, if you have to, to fit so much extra stuff in here. I honestly was able to take everything out of my Lily Jade Megan and fit it in here with absolutely no problem. But the nice thing is that if you don't want to fill it all the way up, it still kind of maintains a smaller profile. So I think that's one of the really cool things about this bag. It does not have a zipper closure, so if that bothers you, I mean, that's the way it is. But I think because there is so much extra space up here, I never feel like I'm insecure about the closure here. It has a nice magnetic closure, but I'm somebody who typically keeps my bags open anyways. So I will show you here what I have in it. In the back, there's a nice zipper pocket, and that's where I keep all of my like charging stuff. I also have a couple Chuck E. Cheese cards. My parents took the kids to Chuck E. Cheese and left some points on here. And then I've just got like a charging block, my earbuds, and some charging cables. Next to that zipper there, there is a nice little built-in key ring. When I have my keys with me, I usually do clip those on. I'll start taking stuff out of the main section just so you guys can see what I have. This is another beautiful carry kit accessory. This is the Bodhi, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. This is like the little clutch. And this is a perfect little size for all of my like cosmetic and medical needs. There's a nice little zipper pocket on the back that's attached to the strap. And in here I keep all of our hair stuff. So I have a portable brush, little hair ties, bobby pins. And if you've seen recent pictures of my husband lately, you would know that he a lot of times wears his hair in a ponytail. It's weird for me to get used to, but I also keep ponytails in there for him as well. And then in the main portion, 
there's no other zippers or anything. I just have basically like Tums, Tylenol, I have some of my makeup, I have a little travel deodorant, lip gloss, a mirror, eye drops, and anything else that I would need with that relates to that. Also in the main pocket, I just have like a little pouch that I made. This is a faux leather and in here I just have snacks and stuff. I also keep a little disposable placemat, which is nice. We really only use this when we're gonna be eating like noodles or something out because it's the one thing that my daughter, who's almost two, still has kind of a hard time picking up and eating with a fork. So it's kind of nice to be able to lay that down and then it's easy cleanup. Also in the main pocket, I have my wipes and an itsy ritzy wipes clutch in the blush. This is gorgeous. And if you're curious about the type of wipes I have in here, these are from Cloud Island. It's a new brand, well not a new brand, but they've been at Target for a while, but they've recently started doing diapers and wipes. And I love them. I've gone through an entire case of wipes now and diapers, and I love them both. They are really cost effective, in fact, cheaper than my subscribe and save Amazon wipes that I had been getting. And I love this. I just love how simple it is. And I don't keep my wipes with my diapers anymore just because I find that I'm reaching for the wipes on their own more than I'm really using them for a diaper change. So I keep my diapers with the clothing because, because my daughter is almost two. She doesn't really need her diaper changed when we're out and about that much. I do have her blanket in here. This is just a Bebe Ole swaddle blanket that she really likes. And then everything else that is in here is in a pocket. So I'm gonna start in the back. I keep her shoes in here, my youngest daughter's. She doesn't like to keep them on in the car, so I just keep them in the bag in case we're somewhere where she needs to put shoes on. On the other side, there is a nice slip pocket with a magnetic closure, and it pretty much goes the entire width of the bag. And in here, I just keep a thin change pad if I were to need it. This is from my Itsy Ritzy mini bag in the blush. It's a nice little thin change pad, big enough if I was to need to do a diaper change, but small enough and thin enough that it fits compactly in my bag. Also in that slip pocket, I have another pouch that I made, and this has a change of clothes for my youngest, it has extra underwear for my older, and then socks for both of them in case we're somewhere where they're playing and they need socks. And then these are the Cloud Island diapers that I was talking about. I absolutely love them. These are in a size four, and I know they look really small, but that's because they fold them three ways. It's like a tri-fold, I don't know if you can see that. But these are wonderful diapers. They're don't irritate my daughter's sensitive skin. And again, very, very reasonably priced. So I absolutely love these and I'm excited to try them out for my newest baby that is due this summer. If you can see in there, you can see that there's two elastic pockets on the same side that has the zipper. And then on the outside of one of those elastic pockets is another miniature elastic pocket. And that's what I keep my daughter's extra pacifier in. We've been working on getting that pared down and having her not use it, but it's kind of an uphill battle. <laughs> so we keep one just in case. Over in one of the bottle pockets, I have my ghost stack that has golden Oreos and goldfish in it. And then in the other elastic pocket, I just keep lotion and Kleenex because we're in Minnesota and it's cold out and I find that we're needing both of these things quite a bit. And now I'm gonna do my best to try to show you. I love that this bag does have some good slouch to it, but it does make it kind of hard to show you guys the interior structure, but I will do my best. There's the big slip pocket across the back and that has a magnetic closure. Sorry, not a magnetic closure, it's just a snap closure. And then in the front over here on the same side as the zipper, you get these two elastic pockets, one of them having a smaller elastic pocket, which is perfect for like pacifiers or small things like that. And then there's also the elastic pockets on either side, which are perfect for an extra bottle or a go stack snack towel or something like that. So hopefully you guys can kind of get a good idea of what you get with this. It's a gorgeous like champagne lining that is really easy to wipe and makes it super easy to see down in here and also makes it really easy to match if you're somebody who likes to have your accessories sort of coordinate with your diaper bag. You can't really screw it up with a color like this. So I think that's wonderful. There are two ways to carry this bag. One is the included over the shoulder strap. That's absolutely my favorite. It does come with a longer messenger style strap, but I honestly think that for me, this is just the perfect length and it lends it so well to this style of bag that it's just absolutely perfect and it's how I prefer to carry it. I think that's just about it. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Thank you very much to Amber for sending this to me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.